Hey everybody, what's going on? Ed here, bringing you another simple tutorial. Today I'm going to show you a real simple way to do a health bar. So I have a real simple game. I got a player, I got an enemy. Uh, the enemy flies up the player and collides. So the first thing we need to do is we need to give the player a health variable. So we'll call that health. And I'm going to say his health is 100 to start out with. Okay, and then the second thing we want to do is we want to add a sprite. Um, and you can bring in a sprite if you want. I'm just going to create one in Construct. Uh, we'll make a nice red health bar. All right, let's do it about like that. And what I want to do is I want to make the width match my health. Okay, so there's my health bar. All right, so we're going to go into our event sheet, and this is the collision event right here. So the sprite is going, the enemy is going to destroy, and then it is also going to take health away from the player. So we'll subtract, um, let's say each time he gets hit, it takes away 10 health. All right, and then at the same time, we are going to change the width of this sprite to equal the player's health. All right, um, and you can also do this every tick, but uh, to save some processing, we'll just do it each time the player's hit, rather than constantly checking to see what the player's health is. All right, so we have those two things done. Um, let's go ahead and run it. So here we go. You can see my health bar going down each time I get hit. Now you'll notice that it's actually starting at the middle and the two sides are moving in by the width. And that's because of the origin. So if we go in here and we set the origin to an X of zero, that's if you want the bar to go down from right to left. If you want it to go down from left to right, you'll set the origin to the other side. All right. So there we go. We will run this guy again. And there you go, health going down. All right. So that's that. Easy enough. You know, and if you had a power up or it gave you health back, then all you would do is when the player collided with the power up, <clears throat> it would set the player's health to, you know, plus whatever. You'd add 10 to it, and then you'd set the, the width of the sprite again to the player's health. Um, that's the nice thing about having the sprite the same size as the player's health, um, is you can easily manipulate it that way. Okay? Uh, if you have any, um, you know, simple things that you want to run past me, want me to do a video tutorial of, just go ahead and ask. Send me a PM on the Construct forums or post in the comments. All right? Or if you have any questions. All right, thanks.